Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is day one of Disney's 50th anniversary celebration media event. I am so, so excited to bring you guys along with me. I am going to the event on behalf of Box Lunch and the Box Lunch Collective. I just want to say a huge thank you to them. I am so, so thankful that they thought of me and invited me to go to this event. Just a little recap, this event is at Disney World and it is a media event, meaning that Disney is going to be showing the fireworks for the first time and also giving us some exclusive looks at some of their new offerings in honor of the 50th anniversary before everything is open to the public on Friday, October 1st. I am so honored that I get to attend and so today is check-in day. There's honestly not that much going on today other than I'm just checking into my hotel and then that's it. I kind of have a free day today. It's just kind of a day to check in, get settled, and get ready because the next two days we're going to be go, go, go with so many super exciting events and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do my best to vlog as much as I can to take you guys along with me, but I also will be taking over the Box Lunch Instagram, which is just at Box Lunch Gifts. So make sure you are following them because they're gonna be getting all of the exclusive looks first. So I have everything packed and I am on my way to go stay at the Beach Club Resort. I'm so excited. I've never stayed at the Beach Club or on the boardwalk, so this is gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive over to the Beach Club. I'll see you guys there. and it smells like Disney in here. Like you know the scent of a Disney hotel room. So all of the hotels, I think now, and especially by the time you watch this, they're all like 50th themed. So like my room key was 50th themed and I got to pick which character I wanted. I picked Daisy because she's my favorite and they have like 50th decorations everywhere and even like the TV, it has like a little 50th overlay. It's called the patio. This is so exciting. I'm I'm just so happy to be here. I figure before I get all moved in, let me show you guys the room. We'll do a little room tour. This room is beautiful. You walk into the room. The door automatically shuts, which is really, really nice. So right when you walk in, you have your coffee area. Oh, that's really cool. They have 50th themed K-cups. That's really, really cool. That is so cute. And then in here is the refrigerator. I just need to put some water in there. Then this is the bathroom. Oh, hello, bathroom lighting. Disney always has really good bathroom lighting, so this will be so fun to get ready in. But this is the bathroom. I love the blue on the walls. It is so pretty and it's just so very relaxing. There's the sink. Of course, you get the complimentary Disney H2O. So we have soap, shower cap, body lotion, mouthwash, and a vanity kit. I'll probably put all my stuff down there. Towels, a toilet, and the shower. This is a really nice shower. There's also a bathtub. There's a full body mirror. This is my outfit, by the way, of the day. I have on this dress and my like three to five inch shoes that I always wear with these Mickey socks. Let me turn the lights off. Okay, and then here is the closet. Oh, heck yeah. I cannot wait to put on this robe later after my bath. I'm gonna hang all my clothes on the hangers. And then this is the main room. A nice little painting there. There are two bedside tables. This is the bed, and there's also a chair. I feel like this probably pulls out too. This is the desk. Oh cool, there's like a table that comes out too. Outlets, another mirror, and then 
The Resort TV, which I think is literally the best reason to stay in the hotel. The remote is sanitized, which is very nice. You also get a special guide to the parks that is 50th themed. Super fun. Aww. They look so cute. And then lastly, I'll show you guys the patio. So there are two chairs and a table and a beautiful view of the beach club, of the pool. Oh, and that's the boardwalk right there. I see dance hall right there. So that is my little room tour. I am already in love with this resort, but I'm also very hungry. So it's about 6 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and like unpack my things and get situated. I want to go explore the resort. And as I go explore the resort is when I think I'm gonna go get food. So I'm gonna look at their quick service options, see what's available. And we're gonna get some food because I'm really hungry. So. I'm currently on the My Disney Experience app and there's a feature where you can filter like what you're looking for and where. So I filtered it to the boardwalk and the beach club looking for food. So let's see what food they have. There's Abracadabra Bar, which is very good, but not what I'm looking for. Alien Compass Lounge. I don't think I want to lounge at the moment. Beach Club Marketplace. They have a half roasted chicken dinner. They have a foot long all beef chili cheese hot dog, caprese sandwich, Italian sandwich, pulled pork sandwich, ooh, roast beef sandwich, turkey and Swiss sandwich, bacon topped baked macaroni and cheese. Oh, they have a pulled pork baked macaroni and cheese. I might have to get that. My mom told me to go eat at Cape May Cafe, which does sound fun. So one of my favorite things to do, and hopefully they still have it. So I'm gonna look through the channels on the TV and hopefully they have my favorite one. Disney must do. Disney Springs TV. Disney Channel. Company Clips. They have a channel that's specifically dedicated to Mickey cartoons. And this is probably one of my favorite channels. And then the best channel ever. No. I had a feeling they got rid of it. They had a channel called the Radio Disney Channel. So when I put on Radio Disney, it, like, it has a channel listed, but this is what it shows up as. So I guess they did officially take away the Radio Disney channel, which, I mean, makes sense since Radio Disney kind of shut down, but I decided to mobile order from Ale and Compass, which is the restaurant at Yacht Club, but you can actually mobile order their food. I think it just takes a little bit longer. And I decided to get food from there because they had a Chipotle barbecue flatbread that looked so good. So I'm waiting on that. Oh, wait, fun facts, just completely random. In 2018, I came to either the beach or the yacht club. I can't remember which one. It honestly might have been Ale and Compass Lounge. I'm not sure. I met with someone who worked for Radio Disney and that meeting is what led me to getting my job with them. So that's really cool that this is kind of like a full circle moment that my journey with Radio Disney started there. Oh, was it ready? Oh, heck yeah, guys. But I think this is actually really cool that my journey with Radio Disney started there. By the way, if you didn't know, I used to work for Radio Disney until they shut down due to the pandemic. But now it's cool that I'm starting a new journey with Box Lunch with you guys as an annual pass holder and nice little full circle moment. Okay, with that being said, let's go get our food. Ooh, there's a lounge right there. But it's closed. The elevators are so pretty. Oh. I think Yacht Club is this way. I have no idea where Ale and Compass is. I might just have to ask a cast member because I'm not sure where it is. Hopefully there's a sign somewhere. I made some friends! <laughs> wow, okay, I got my food. That was so quick. It maybe took them like five minutes from the time I pressed I'm here to prepare my order. A really efficient and fun little trip. The weather is beautiful. It is a beautiful time to be on the boardwalk. I am just, I am very happy right now. 
so I got the chipotle chicken flatbread. Looks delicious. I'll probably have to pick that stuff off though. Super safe. Just got a side of steak fries and some ketchup. This looks so good. I'm so hungry. I did kind of want a coffee, but I don't know where to get coffee on the boardwalk. These are incredible. Okay, let's try the pizza. That's incredible. To the pick to my mom of the food. The pizza is really spicy, but I am trying to increase my spice tolerance. It's 6.45 and tonight I kind of want to watch Happily Ever After because this is going to be the last night that I get to see it. The last night Happily Ever After ever plays is tomorrow night, but I'm going to be busy watching a different fireworks show. So I kind of want to watch Happily Ever After for the very last time. The only dilemma is I know it's going to be really really crowded but I think regardless I think it'd be good for me to go if I didn't go then I just wouldn't be doing anything for the rest of the night I didn't get to see much of the hotel since I went just directly to Yacht Club but Yacht Club is very similar to Beach Club they just have like different colors I do kind of want to walk around Beach Club but I also don't think there's that much to see. The beauty of this resort, I think, is outside on the boardwalk. And the lobby is a little bit darker, so on camera it doesn't pick up as well. Before I go to the bus to see Happily Ever After, I'll show you guys the lobby. But yeah, there's not much. There's a little gift shop. There's Cape May Cafe, which I used to go with my family all the time. So I guess growing up, like even though I never stayed at the beach club, this was always like a must do on our vacation because my parents just really, really like to eat at Cape May. And Cape May is a buffet. It's like an all you can eat seafood buffet. So the sun is setting. It is just, it is beautiful. I got so lucky with my view and everything. So it's about 7.15. I have an hour till Happily Ever After. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the bus stop. I actually have no idea where the bus stop is. <gasps> Wait, yes I do. Yes I do because when I was a kid, we would have to ride the bus to come here. So there's Cape May, boardwalk. I think the buses are this way. See the Magic Kingdom bus. I'm a good two minute walk away. Are we gonna make it? I sure hope so. I just made it to Magic Kingdom. The bus was definitely the right move because it was only an eight minute bus ride. Um, there was no traffic, it was great. Of course, going back, I think it's going to be a little bit crowded. updates to the park so they took away all of the Mickey Halloween pumpkins and replaced them with the beautiful Cinderella pumpkins it's a little sad because I love the Mickey pumpkins but these Cinderella pumpkins are so so pretty and I'm all about theming so I'm here for it we have actually 30 minutes until fireworks so I think I'm gonna walk closer to the castle I might get a water cup and I'm gonna see how the crowds are looking and like how hard or easy it's gonna be for me to get a spot oh my gosh the confectionery is open let's go in if you didn't know the confectionery was closed for quite a bit of time I think they remodeled it when the opening date was, so it was so cool. So they completely remodeled it. When you walk in, the stand where you order treats from is a circle, and there are four different stations. I think the design is very sleek. I actually really, really liked it. They also have like a build your own popcorn, um, which is really, really cool. I definitely would love to try that out. They also had some 50th treats, and then they had a bunch of treats along the walls too. The cast members just looked so happy to be working in there. So cool, such a fun experience. It is now 7.53, so we have 20 minutes till fireworks. And they also opened up the back gate, 
over there. Let's go to the castle and check out the crowd situation. made it back to my hotel room man oh man happily ever after wow i can't believe that was my very last time seeing it i was able to walk around main street through the back ways and i got a perfect spot where i was able to see the castle perfectly all the projections perfectly the fireworks and not be so into the crowd that i was able to quickly exit i was in and out of there so so quick well to be honest i didn't really want to leave once the show was over i kind of wanted to stay but i knew that if i stayed then it was going to take forever for me to get out the show is beautiful i don't know if maybe i just hadn't seen it in a while i don't know like what it was but i felt like the projections were just so crystal clear the fireworks were beautiful i felt like all the shapes were making the perfect shape like 
that was probably the best showing of happily ever after i ever saw it was such a sweet experience i definitely got emotional the show just means so much to me because growing up as a kid i would never really watch the fireworks when they had wishes because my family never wanted to stay that late so when i got to see happily ever after for the first time on my disney college program like that signified the start of something new the start of this new life journey that i've now been on for a couple of years i have so many wonderful memories watching happily ever after and i'm sure it's so silly to be talking about a fireworks show in this way but i do feel like the show was a part of my life for a lot of big milestones it was very sweet to watch the show tonight though alone because i feel like that's the whole the whole point of happily ever after is you are the key to unlocking your happily ever after my joke that i like to say is that maybe i'm my own happily ever after but honestly i am like i'll turn this into a life lesson for about two seconds like be your own happily ever after whether you are married in a relationship or not i think it's so important to give yourself the love that maybe you crave from other people or you lack from other people give it to yourself be your own happily ever after it is truly all about like going for something though it's not about waiting for your happily ever after it's reach out and find your happily ever after be your own happily ever after, whatever that means to you. I think that's so, so important. And for me, I definitely can relate. Like sometimes I just maybe wait for something to happen and that's totally okay to do. But I also think if you want something, go for it, find it, fight for it. Don't give up. Be your own happily ever after. The official last viewing is tomorrow night, but I won't be there because you and I will be doing some super fun 50th event. Tomorrow is really gonna be out of this world. Make sure you're following my Instagram at emilynels8. I'm going to be posting as much as I can on my Instagram and also on the Box Lunch Instagram. I ordered myself a few treats and I'll show you from the quick service place, which is open till 11. Thank goodness. I just got this Mickey brownie. I thought it was so cute. This is the life. I am so happy. I just took a bath. I've been listening to Ben Rector. I got like all of my bath stuff set up. I hung up my clothes. Just like organizing everything for tomorrow. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today has honestly been the best day, like ever. I'm just so thankful and I'm just so happy to be here. And I know tomorrow's gonna be such an exciting day. So make sure you follow along and stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.